Hi, I'm Hannah H, and today on All the Science, we will be talking about glass. We use glass in our everyday lives. It's used for simple things like decoration, all the way to plates and drinking glasses. But what is glass? Glass is a non-crystalline amorphous solid that is often transparent and has a wide spread of practical usage. It is made from a liquid sand that is mainly made up of silicone dioxide. When this is heated to a temperature of 1,700 degrees Celsius or 3,090 degrees Fahrenheit, it melts into what we call glass. A common question is what needs to be done to glass in order for it to become the glass that we see every day? Well, in a commercial glass factory, there are many steps to begin the process of glass. First, sand is mixed in with waste glass, water, soda ash, which is sodium carbonate, and limestone. This mixture is then heated in a furnace. The soda ash, or sodium carbonate, is used to reduce the sand's melting point, which overall saves energy for the manufacturer. The limestone is added to prevent the soda ash from dissolving in the water. The end product is called soda lime silicone glass. From there, the newly melted glass can be poured into different molds depending on the desired product. Glass makers will often change up the process depending on the type of glass being created. Other chemicals are added to the melted glass to change the appearance or properties of the finished product. For example, metallic compounds can be added to the glass while it is still molten to create stained glass. Speaking of stained glass, it was used all the way back to the 3rd or 4th century AD. It was commonly used in European Catholic churches, but it eventually became more popular in the 12th century in the Gothic Cathedral. A 12th century German monk who referred to himself as Theophilus is the main reason why present day knows so much about stained glass. Theophilus was a metal worker as well as an artist. He studied glaciers and glass painters who pr to provide detailed instruction on how to create stained window glass. During the Renaissance period, stained glass was often replaced with painted glass and was used by the 18th century. It was rare to see stained glass being used, but it was then later rediscovered by European artists. Only 10% of stained glass today is used in churches. Now it is often used for architectural purposes and other things like Christmas ornaments or lampshades. There are many different types of glass used to produce certain products. For example, there's toughened glass, flat glass, glass fiber, frosted glass, used quartz, stained glass, and annealed glass. Annealed glass is a very important type of glass because it is starting material for producing other glass products. It is a basic flat glass product and is the first result of the float process. The float process being the process of which a sheet of glass is created by a molten glass on a bed of molten metal. Annealed glass will commonly break into shards if broken. Annealed glass is often used for architectural windows and double glazed windows. One of the most common glass that we use in our lives today is toughened glass. Toughened glass is made to be much stronger than annealed glass, but is still a product of it. It's made from annealed glass that is treated with a thermal tempering process. To create this, a sheet of annealed glass first goes through the float process where it's heated above the annealing point of 600 degrees. Then it is rapidly cooled. The inner portion of the glass remains hot. Toughened glass is typically used for things like car windshields to keep you safe from flying debris on the road, sliding doors used in houses, and glass furniture like tabletops. Thank you for listening to my podcast on all the science.